Hi, I'm Jeff Harrison. Welcome to this week's video tip. Today I want to talk about uh, combining two drills. One is distance and the other is direction because really quite honestly those are two most important things when it comes to golf is controlling your distance and your direction. I've actually combined two drills together. A lot of times when I'm teaching my students I'll have a specific distance drill and a specific direction drill. But something happened this last weekend when I was one of my students and I promised I'd name it her drill. So it's the Bobby Hall drill. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to control distance and direction and put it all together because let's, let's be honest, when we're out playing golf we need both distance and direction. So let's talk about how we're going to set that up. So what I've done is I've set up six and I've used some T-Mark or uh, dip repair tools and the idea is I set these dip repair tools up to really so you can see these and I put two on each side uh, to give me a path and basically I've made it wide enough so my putter will go back and through and you saw this last week in our drill. The only difference now is when I'm working on distance I want to feel this pendulum like motion one back one through. To get that feeling I put this red tape down here and you can see this at this point right here this is three steps from where I'm going to putt. Now here's the interesting part whether you're a 6'5 big giant person or you're a, a, a female or a junior just starting out the game, this distance will be consistent. So I don't want you to have this feeling of one back, one through, and that means if you hit a putt, the pace of your shoulders equals the distance of all goes. So if you go one back, one through with your shoulders, like we talked about last week, then that will give you a distance control where the ball will roll slightly past it. But something we've combined is I've actually put these ball markers or these give repair tools down to create this target that we putt. So we're not only dealing with distance control, but also direction. So let me show you how this works out. So I put the ball in the middle of these tees, or in this case, the div repair tool, and this gives me my path to run on. So as long as I go back and through on that path, it goes right through the gate. Now I see here my direction was good, but my distance was a little firm, so I would slow my shoulders down. So it's one back, one through a little too fast and I would just work on controlling that. So now you see this idea is I can control both pace or distance if you will and direction. That's more like it. So as you're doing this set up six tees. I've used different repair tools a little larger as you can see in the camera but you can use tees here. Walk out three steps put something. I've given it about four and a half inches between those two uh, uh, markers and then I'm just going to roll the ball through there. When I go out to my next level, which is three more steps, I'm going to spread that out again about four and a half inches and I'm going to make sure when I roll the ball through it, I'm going to be making this putt. So I'm controlling my distance and direction. So begin adding this to your routine and I know it'll drive away those three putts and certainly start making some more one putts from you know six or eight feet away because your confidence will be there with controlling your distance as well as a great stroke with your path going right at your target. I also want to invite all of you to send in your suggestions for what kind of video tip you would like to see that would help your game and I know it would help everybody watching. Please send your video tip to iGolf. 010 at gmail.com. That's igolf010 at gmail.com. It'll be going on for the next couple weeks, and the one who I uh, select as the winner, 
They're going to join me here and we're going to create this together and we're going to then share with everyone. So please, I'd like you to send in your tip and let's get you on video. My name is Jeff Harrison. Thanks for joining me this week on distance and direction control and how to make your, uh, your short game even better and become very accurate with your putting.